Hey guys, welcome back to Marshy's Ben 10 Survival Series. Last time, we worked a bit more on the Frozen Museum, and we definitely worked a massive amount on Applied Energistics. We got an entire uh, digital storage system set up, so I've been working on moving some stuff over, and I've been working on murdering quite a bit of random stuff. If you remember last time, we also faced off against the Ancient Entity. And uh, we didn't get the right amount of stuff we needed from him. So we only got enough, you know, stones to actually make eight divine stones. So I've been killing a lot of things. It took me, like, quite a long amount of time for me to work on it. Because these things just don't spawn. Like, it takes forever for any of them to spawn. Sure, they drop quite a bit when they get killed. But they, it's, in, my, in my experience, they don't drop enough. So either way, I've been working. So I've gotten 31 of the... Corrupted shards, which should be enough to make a couple uh, of the gems. We need three. Got four extra, but damn, did that take a while to get. As you can see, some of my chests are looking a little bit dry. I've been transferring things over to the digital storage system, and it's been taking... You know, it's been taking a while. Mostly because... Oh, there's so much to move, and we didn't really have that much storage just by using one 4K drive, so I can't put everything in there, but I can put, you know, a good amount. At least a good amount, but today we got to be working on going to another dimension and trying to get a doggo, because I've made a bunch of potions of fire resistance, and I want a dog, another dog. We got Snow Buddy. We need a different doggy. I know we had Coach Z, but Coach Z, bless his heart, bless his bless his forgotten soul, is not is no longer with us on this plane of existence. So big sad. Alright, I need to make another stupid mysterious clock. Where's the where's my uh nether stone? Netherite ingot. Is it in the storage? It could be in the storage section. Might need to go figure that one out real quick, but yeah. Gotta go over there. I am little small Echo Echo right now, because I don't usually use Echo Echo. It's weird to see Echo Echo with Big Chill's fucking wings. Gotta love that I am stuck with those wings, because I get stuck to my back. Because they don't go away. They don't get taken off when I detransform, so it's like... I just forever have these wings that look kind of dumb. But as you can see, we have quite a lot of shit in there, and that's where my netherite ingot was. Go ahead and plop this in here? Can I put this back? Come on, put it back. Pick it back now, y'all. Nah, probably not. I guess we full. Hmm, weird. There we go, got that back in there. So I'm gonna go ahead, make this, and as you can see, it'll store shit in there, so go ahead, take another right chunk, take a hellstone ingot, and then finally we can make another mysterious clock. Very nice, very nice. I'm gonna shove shit in there. Oh, I can't put any, can't put the corrupt shards in there. That's why I need another ME controller, not an ME controller, another storage thing. But you know, we can work on that later. Go ahead, and we need to kill this motherfucker once again. We can use one of the sand slashes. Hmm, you can use this one because it gives XP boost three, but this one has looting three. Might be a bit more useful. We need to first of all detransform. I also need to go to the nether again this time, and hopefully, hopefully, get myself a hell doggy. I want another friend, because remember, you need to have coal on you while being fire resistant. At least that's what they tell me. It could be, again, that this update does not have, you know, recruitable fire doggos, but uh, I want them. I want them. This does not change the fact that I indeed want their bones. All right, as usual, we got to turn into Humongosaur. Am I as big as the Cyclopses? I'm actually bigger than them when I'm in Humongosaur mode. Very good. Sadly, Humongosaur does not jump higher. Seems like he would because he's like a giant dinosaur with very strong legs. But, you know, it's confusing. Anyway, all right. Here we go. Another mysterious entity has spawned. You know how much I love these and how stupid they are. They don't really understand how to, you know, not die. All right, then. It's time for death. <laughs> Just smash Z, and they don't know what they're doing. They're like, how can this fucking be? How am I getting murked this badly? It's like, you're just... 
You're just bad, dude. I'm gonna put, like, five million of your statues inside my, uh, museum. And you're just gonna be so sad by the end of it. You're gonna be like, what the fuck, dude? Am I just literally a trophy piece? And it's like, yes. I will use your own sword to destroy you. Butterfly humongous sword, go! There we go. Thank you for more of it. It The looting didn't seem to really help all that much. Whatever. Also, it doesn't seem like my durability went down. That's weird. And we got another one! Very much happy. So now we should have enough to actually, uh... What is it called? Make the portal. So we should be able to go to the whatever dimension I'm going to. I also need to make something called a twilight clock in order for it to actually, you know, ignite the portal. It's like, sure, I can create the portal, but I need to ignite it. Alright. Just put more of these stupid statues somewhere. Somewhere he can't hurt anyone ever again. Like your asshole. <laughs> Would you like a giant, weird bug monster put in your asshole? I don't think so. But yeah, that won't stop me. You can't stop me, Spider-Man. Spider-Man could never stop what he loved. Oh, we have five gajillion clocks now. Do I have any more gold over here? I have a little bit more gold. Just enough for one more clock. Let's see. Take this out, then put this in. There we go. That should make enough clocks to make the twilight clock, which is important in this circumstance. Go ahead and place these in there. I think I put the rest of my stone inside the ME system. Let me go check. Go ahead, turn into Chroma Stone. Chroma Stone is quickly turning into my favorite alien in the mod. <laughs> Just because he flies so fucking fast. Jet Ray has nothing on this man. Alright, put stone in there. Put my divine rocks I need. There we go. Place. Can you go back in there? Go back in. They don't want this no more. Alright then. Yeah, this is getting kind of confusing. Mostly because it's like all filled up, the storage things. So therefore, it doesn't want to put anything else in there for some odd reason. Alright. Close that up. Oh shit, I could have saved some of this. It's whatever. Alright, so this should start up the thing. New dimension. That's pretty fucking bonkers, dude. Conquer Blonker Jonker. All right, make sure that I am an alien that is going to, you know, make sure I'm not killed, like Chroma Stone. Ooh, instant teleport. I like that. Hold shift wherever the hell I am. Twilight Dimensions. Twilight Dimensions and 101 possibilities. What does that mean? Enter the Eden Dimension. Taste the rainbow. What the fuck? So this is called the Eden Dimension, apparently. Interdasting. Are you coming to murder me? Yes, you are. Okay. You want to get murked? Don't worry, I'll turn you into a fucking... <laughs> I'll turn you into sausage. <gasps> it's a... What is this? It's a bunny! It's another bunny. You're coming with me. I'm taking you back to my dimension. We're gonna have fun time with you being dead. What the fuck are these things? Why does it look like they're giving me shulkers? The fuck? What is this? Eden soul. Whoa, a bunch of crystals. It's a shield. Eden gem. Interesting. And then raw empowered meat. Can make a really good meat out of their bones. The fuck is... Uh, it looks like the... Looks like the Aether. Hmm. Let me go ahead and detransform. See what's going on here. Eden chest. Hmm. Whoa. Okay, then. I'm going to turn into something that will make sure that I'm not dead. Let me explode. There we go. I like it when I can explode. I like this chest. I shall take it for the good of Azkaban. Eden lamp. Interesting stuff. Uh, there's supposed to be, like, bosses here I can fight, so... Hopefully, y'all are going to get fucking murked. Alright, I should probably be using one of the sand slashes. I don't know. Because it doesn't seem like they lose durability. Damn. Damn, son, where'd you find this? I like it that all the cows want to kill me. I bring all the cows home, motherfucker. And I take them home to my dimension. Ooh, arrows. The fuck is that? Is that a human? Whatever the hell you are, you're scary looking. You drop meat. 
The fuck is up with this dimension, and why is it so good? I'm gonna take all your fucking meat. God damn, you hurt, but you're so tasty and delicious. I just want to eat you all day. Also, I'm healing like a fuck ton. Are the bunnies healing me? Hmm, interesting. Oh, shit. I want to take out my bow so I can shoot that thing that's flying around. That's gone. Fuck. Damn, I seem to shoot in a fucking straight line. How you doing, Jimmy? He dodged. That motherfucker. Having so much of this meat. The fuck are you? <laughs> God damn, I'm peeking the mic doing that. Don't make me don't make me fly again. Damn, these things seem to spawn like indefinitely. Hello! Hello there! My name is Holy Shit! <laughs> My name is Holy Shit! Friend or foe? I don't know, these things don't look like friends! Especially with them fucking murking me so bad. Shit. I need to go. Damn. These things are fucking tough. Alright, let's go. Whew. Escape, escape. Damn. I'm healing so fast, though. Don't you dare push me into the void. What the fuck is that thing? What the fuck? Holy crud, holy crud, holy crud. Woohoo! Woohoo! <laughs> this place is insane. I love it. Holy crud! <laughs> what the fuck? I'm out of here. I'm out this bitch. It's scary. <laughs> oh god. There's cows that want to fucking turn me into mincemeat. I'm out of this bitch. I'm out of here. <laughs> fucking hell. Holy shit, the cow came with me. I told you I'd take the cows home. To the nether. Oh, hi. So they turn... That's what they turn into. Okay, then. How you doing, Jim Regard? Would you like me to kill you? Damn. That was fun, though. <laughs> I was like, holy shit, all these new things I've never seen trying to kill me. I was like, damn. All right. I dig it. I'm like, I dig it. The fuck is going on there? It's insane. There's, like, not as moments of rest. It's like chaos all around me and I loved it. I was like, holy shit. Why is everything trying to kill me? <laughs> like, I'm laughing out of control. Damn. Okay. Well, that's uh, the speedster valley. It's <laughs> great. Can I go over to... Uh... Fine, I'll do it. The end. I want to see Twilight Dimensions. Uh, make a bunny angry. Hmm. Kill the sunstorm. Okay. I gotta figure out where that is, though. But the meat they drop seems to be extremely powerful. Knowing that it gives you, like, five thingies. Like, I like that. Even found some cool shit, guys. Look, I found an Eden torch. Cool. And an Eden lamp. Hmm. And an Ender and an Eden chest. At least that one there. It's kind of like a better version of the regular chest. Hmm. I'm just taking home all the cool things I found. <laughs> all these cool shit that I don't know what to do with. Uh, drop some of this in there somewhere. Damn. Well, that, that was fucking insane. I loved it. <laughs> they gave me so much experience as well. I mean, they hurt, but like... You know, I was Chroma Stone and all that. It didn't hurt me all that much. Alright. Let me see. I wanted to... Did I want to enchant the last Sand Slash? Or do I want... I probably want to fuse the two Sand Slashes I have. Give it looting and XP boost and all this crud. Everything to make me even better. Any way you want it. That's the way you need it. Damn. Sa Super Sand Slash coming through. Alright, and then we have another Sand Slash I got from the ancient entity, so... I roll, you know, Divine RPG, I've never played it before, but it seems to be a lot of fun. XP boost, I don't need more. Sharpness! Hell yeah. Lots of sharpness needed. Soulbound, don't really care. Decay. I mean, we've already got XP boost three. 
I guess leech isn't bad. I'm a leech your ass. See, how much XP boost do we have? That much. Hmm. I mean, I'm not going to uh, enchant this currently. I'm just leaving it to rot while I get more experience around the world. But damn. I like that dimension. <laughs> like I'm being serious. Like, damn, that was insane. So much good loot immediately. So many, so many possibilities. Okay, then. Well, I need, I need more of my empowered meat. wonder if it's all irradiated and I'm going to die if I keep eating it. It's funny. <laughs> all right, let's go over, let's go back to, um, let's go back to the nether. I wanted to find a hellhound that I could befriend. I need friends. Oh, shit. Forgot the cow is still here. Yeah, this thing does lose durability. It will get weak. But it's extremely strong while you're at it. Okay, um, I need to find a hellhound. Be a little bit hard to find. They're a bit rare in this version. I don't want to be big chill. I want to be... Chromastone. Chromastone's, like, pretty damn good, I tell you that. Alright. I need to find a hellhound. None over there, just a bunch of those archers who hate me. Hmm. Seems like everything in the Eden dimension fucking hated me, like, to an insane degree. Then again, it seems like most of the things in Divine RPG hate me. Like, without any kind of idea of what the fuck is going on, and they just instantly hate me. <gasps> it's a hellhound. Okay, so if I drink the potion of... Oh, yeah, I still have this. Okay, drink the potion of fire resist. Then... I go over here and I murk this guy real quick because he's in the way. And then if I pull out this... <gasps> I found... I have a friend! You fuck off. You're not going to kill my new friend. New friend, get him. You're a... Uh, you're, you're cool. Can I pick you up? I need to if I'm going to bring you back home. Are you... Are you... Alright, let's, let's get going. I can't see, but I can believe... Over this way. Okay, so we can have friends. I just hope he doesn't burn down my house while we're, while he's at it. Alright. Go in. Get teleported back. I'll meet you there. Come here. Come here. Come on, puppy. You're my new puppy. Come on. Let's go. There we go. He looks so fucking cute. You, you can't even fucking believe it. He looks so cute. Come on. There we go. This sitting animation is fucking amazing. Snow buddy, I got you a brother. <laughs> oh, he doesn't even look like he wants to fucking destroy the world with me. Aww. <laughs> doggy. I want a doggy. Come on, dog. Let's put you in with your brother. Or maybe we should put you in a different house. I don't know. I want to, I want you to be safe. So I'm going to put you together. Come on, bud. Do you, I know I keep asking you for stuff, but like I know you'd never even named Snow Buddy. I was the one that named him. But could you guys, come on. Give me a name for my hellhound. I want to call him something funny. Cuz we've got Chopper over here. Snow Buddy what I named, but you guys he's so much bigger than Snow Buddy. So nobody is, like, small in comparison. But then again, they're brothers now. You're gonna have to get along with your brother. I just imagine them abusing each other when I'm not looking. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> oh, I got another, yeah, raw empowered meat. Love it when you empower me with meat. So now I got myself a nice buddy. Yay. I got two buddies. I got three buddies. This one's here against his will. <laughs> this one's here against his will. Alright, go ahead and put... I need to put this shit somewhere. This is why I need more storage shit. Soul. Huh. The fuck is a... Where did I get a soul vial? Isn't that... What does that get used for? Right click on a mob to capture it. Huh. What does a soul vial do when it's full? Let's say a phoenix. Soul binder. You can do it to a broken thing. And make it that. We do need to make a powered... Uh, things so we can actually make our spawner work. Powered spawner is what I need. Powered spawner. 
Requires quite a lot of shit. How do you make that again? Oh yeah, we need some of these vibr vibrant alloy. I don't know how to make it. Hmm. Vibrant alloy requires... Vibrant alloy? Oh, it requires an ender pearl and an energetic alloy. Which requires gold, glowstone, and that. I think we have pretty much everything we need over in the, uh... The other area. Over in the, uh, technology tent. <laughs> the technology tent! That sounds good. Definitely sounds like something. Damn. <laughs> Fucking, the Eden dimension is insane. It's like a never-ending party of death. Which is definitely, in my book, a good thing. I always love a party of death. <laughs> Alright, Crusher, you crush that down. Um, I don't know what to do with this, and I can't even place it in there. Don't worry, you can go in there. You'll find a way. It's gonna make pulverized dust? Yes, it makes pulverized coal. Which I think gets used with iron. I need to make electric ingots. Electric. Electric steel ingots. Which require pulverized coal, silicon, and that. So, silicon. I need one. Now I need iron. Which I have quite a bit of. We lost some of it by, you know, needing to use it to build the, uh, the house. But that, it's okay, it's okay. Found another one in here. Okay, so if I put this, if I put this in there, then this in there, and then silicon? How does that work? Configure. What? What is going on here? I don't understand. Show recipes. This is just smelting. What? I don't get it. Okay. Um, how do I how do I work this thing? Does it take something and turn it down into something? Instead of it actually... How in the blue hell do I make this? Okay, so... Alloy smelter... Hmm. How do I use an alloy smelter? I mean, I guess this is the simple one, but how do I use the alloy smelter? Let me see. Ender IO alloy smelter. How do I make this thing work? It's got power. But I don't know how to put things into it. Hmm. Uh, it acts like a furnace. It has three input slots and one output slot. It's used to create alloys in the IO mod. Um. There's a button that allows to switch modes. How... Hmm. What's that doing? I don't know what it's doing. What's it making? Progress. It makes nether bricks. But how do I switch it over to a, uh, to it doing something else? I don't know what it's doing. <laughs> Man, I wish I understood. Hmm, maybe I need to watch a, a tutorial online. Maybe I need to understand a bit more of what, how this mod even works. Hmm. This one's very complicated. I think this might be the wrong version. Or we've got the wrong thing. Because I think my alloy smelter is too dumb. I think I made a... Uh, I made a simple alloy smelter. But I need to make an alloy smelter. <laughs> Damn. This requires so much more. It's insane. Used to create... Can also be used as a powered furnace. But I just want this to, like, work. Use to create alloys. But how come I can't do that? Push. Maybe this works? 
Why can't I place anything in? Push and pull. Why can't I put anything in there? How the fuck do I work it? Does a simple one just not work? That's my wonder. I'm like, hmm. Why don't it work? Hmm. It's confusing. I'm trying to watch videos, but videos keep on using the regular alloy smelter instead of the simple one I made. It's kind of confusing. Hmm. I don't get it. Disabled, none. There seems to be enough power in here, right? This just tends to, like, melt things. But it doesn't allow me to put what I need in there, it seems like. How do I m make shit like this? Let me see. Requires an energetic one. What if I try and make something else instead? Maybe we try glowstone. Uh, a gold ingot. And some redstone. There we go. Alright. I can't seem to put anything down in it. Show recipes. I think it only smelts. It only smelts. Which is nice and all, but like... I need it to in infuse. God damn. So I made something that's completely worthless, it seems like. Oh boy, well that's, that's fucking grand. That's good to hear. That's good to hear. Also, I have this stuck on my face now. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> so I'm gonna need to make a actual alloy smeltery instead of a simple one. How the fuck do you make all of this infinity by metal? Jesus, this thing seems extremely hard to make. Am I supposed to alloy smelt this when my alloy smelter doesn't work? Um, Minecraft simple alloy smelter not work. Why is... Okay, so... Hmm. It's taking power. Uh, okay. Hmm. Okay. Let me see. There's someone who may have done it on a random, like, thing? Man, th this mod seems to be used a lot more in stuff like Sky Factory. Come on, I want to understand how I do this. Okay, so they made a very similar thing to what I'm making. I want to see how they did it. Like, did it actually work? I want to know. I want to know. Because it doesn't seem to work for me. And this seems to be the only way I can make a lot of those alloys that are required to make better things. I want to understand. <laughs> I want to understand! That's what I'm asking for. Please! Please tell me! Alright. So, hmm. Um, me in a broken mind state trying to figure out how the fuck this works. Hmm. It's showing how they did it, but it doesn't really help. I need to figure out how this works. Instead of how to make them, I need to figure out how it works. Okay, um... 
Hmm. I'm like, hmm, how does this work? This this hurts my brain, dude. Uh, okay. It's supposed to make stuff like electric steel, which is what I need it to make. Similar to, uh, capacitors cannot be used. Why does it matter? Hmm. Unlike its upgraded version, the alloy smeltery, the simple alloy smelter cannot process furnace recipes. The simple powered furnace may be used for that. I'm not asking for a furnace. I'm asking, <laughs> I'm asking for it to make the ore I want. I'm asking it to make this. Why won't it do that? Do I need to, like, put one in there to show that that's what it needs to be made? Like, this hurts my fucking brain so much. No, fuck off. Okay, we do have some electric steel somewhere in our base, so... Maybe if I place it in the bottom one, it understands what it wants made? Because I know what I want made. You see, here's some electric steel right here. I wonder if... I can place it in there, and it can do something? Because I found this from, like, random drops from, like, villages and stuff. Look, there's a minotaur. So maybe it wants that? Take it. Come on, take it. Does it just smelt things? Is that all it does? What in here is smeltable? I have no clue. <laughs> Nothing in here is smeltable. Hmm. Let me go ahead and see. Maybe I have some food somewhere I can use. I do have some dark steel ingots, so it might be easier to make the next one, but how does that help me? <laughs> Please tell me, because I am so fucking confused. Um, let's take some fucking, I guess, cobblestone, see what happens. Yeah. I don't think it does anything. Whatever the hell I made, it doesn't do anything. Great. <laughs> totally doesn't feel like a waste of my time. Alright then. Well, I can kind of make something here if I... If I use what I got. Let me see. Like, I can do... This on one of my infinity bimetal gears. I think I need two of them, don't I? Damn, don't you just love working with technology and not understanding what you're doing? Okay, I've got two dark bimetal gears. Okay. Why does it require... Oh, you can put... Oh, you can put... Oh, okay. If you really wanted to speed up the process a bit. We do need an industrial thing. We need an industrial bi-blend. How am I going to make that? Okay, so... <laughs> How am I going to make that? I fucking... I hate you. Damn, this is like complicated looking shit right here. So, maybe an induction smelter just would work better. Induction smelter. Sure, fuck it. This is... This is complicated. This is complicated. We need invar ingots. How do you make invar? Invar blend. How do you make invar blend? You need iron dust and nickel. Nickel. Nickelback. Holy crud. Fucking hell. <laughs> uh, all this just to automate that thingamajig over there. Fucking hell. Okay. Well, it's complicated. Sum it all up, it's complicated. God damn. I could use one of these. Like if... Like if I could technically... Use this to make this. But it doesn't change the fact that I need to make that. So I could just use this and it would end up better. But I need to make the industrial machine chassis. Which requires iron ingots, grains of infinity, and that. I mean, it's not... I can make grains of infinity. That's super easy. I just go down the bedrock, which I already have bedrock access, and burn some bedrock. So I guess I'll go down there and work on that real quick. Burn some goddamn bedrock and see what the hell happens. Need a lot of grains of infinity. They make they make the world go round. Oh hi. 
Shit, they're gonna try and fight it. I need to kill it. He's scared. I know he's always scared of dogs. Guys, guys. Guys, are y'all okay? Okay, good. I don't want them getting hurt. I don't care if I get hurt. All I care about is making sure that they don't get hurt. They're the most important lives. Next to Chopper, but then again, Chopper's not super useful. He just kind of sits there and is... He is himself. Alright, this should be my bedrock access. Yep. Burn away at some bedrock. Gonna take a while. I love that I have this stuck to my head. So in order to do this, I need a grain of infinity. Then I need iron and iron bars. Which is not all that hard to make. But to make industrial blend... That's gonna be a problem. We need to make an induction smelter and to make industrial blend we need... We have quartz powder, we can definitely make that. Lapis powder, organic green dye. Organic black dye. What the fuck? How am I supposed to make this? Industrial process plant. How do I make this if the smelter doesn't work? Huh? How the fuck? How in the blue fuck am I supposed to make this? Because I need this industrial blend. Okay, how do you make black dye then? You need, the in you need this thing, which I can't figure out how to make. <laughs> what the fuck? So it takes an egg and coal. Did I get anything? Nope. I'm so confused. My brain is like... Uh, <laughs> it just doesn't work right now. Because the alloy smelter doesn't seem to want to do the thing that I want it to do. Maybe it needs more. Maybe that's what I'm failing on. It requires more than just what I have. Man, I love burning bedrock and only getting like a 50% chance to get anything. Very good. Very good. Come on. I believe in you, game. I believe in you. Maybe. Possibly. Horribly. Maybe. I don't know. Do the do. Do the do. Do the do. Do, 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 do the do. What is my chances of making a thing? How much percentage do we got? doesn't even tell me. <laughs> it's like, you probably have a chance of getting something. Maybe it makes electric steel at a much higher rate than it does for other things. Why does this keep saying item plops? I'm not getting anything. Maybe it only ever works once for one piece of bedrock, and it'll never work again for that piece of bedrock. So that means I need to, like, burn a new one instead? I don't know. I'm just gonna burn stuff. Sit between fire. It works well for me. Come on. Give me something. I'll punch walls. How long will it take for me to punch this piece of cobblestone for you to stop to give me something? Wow. Oh, one. One is good, I guess. One is good. One is good enough. Alright. Be able to make that. But I do want to... Oh, hi! Shit! Transform! Why are you guys way more common than the Gru? You guys don't even drop anything. You guys are fucking worthless. You drop real might. Alright then. Well... Got another grain of infinity. So I need to <laughs> I need to make use of it somehow. Alright, my dogs are just hanging over by my furnace. Um, okay. So, using this and iron. We probably have some extra sitting around somewhere. Iron? Yep, we have some iron. We have massive amounts. <laughs> so, we do this. Get that. Make some iron bars so I can keep everybody in fucking chains. And then I take the grain of infinity, and now I got another simple machine chassis. Now I need to figure out how to make the blend. 
It's kind of a problem when it doesn't want to work. <laughs> hmm. Let me see. Maybe I can make it work. So I need pulverized coal or coal powder. And I need an egg. Probably have like one egg sitting around somewhere, right? One singular egg. That works. And I take pulverized coal, which we have quite a bit of, or coal powder, which is probably being culverized right now. Culverized! Yes, I love it when coal is being culverized. It's like when you go to Culver's and all that. No, it's making an egg. It's not. It's not working correctly. What are you making? I made a boiled egg. Fucking great. Worthless. Oh boy, it's because I can't put things in at the same time. It doesn't work. How am I supposed to make this work if it won't work? Ah, uh, it's just fucking throwing me for a goddamn loop. I don't understand how we do this correctly. How is this supposed to work when it doesn't want to? I don't know. <laughs> it's like, how do I put anything in here? This is confusing. Super duper uber confusing. Because I think all it does is smelt. What is this? What is this object? What did I make? It's a... I'm gonna go drown myself in the digital lake. I didn't make an alloy smelter. I made a powered furnace. <laughs> Fuck. Well, now I know it wasn't why it wasn't working. Very good, very good. I didn't even make the right fucking thing. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm just going insane. Good thing we have the stuff to make it. It's not hard. Fuck. I've been wondering, like, hmm, why doesn't this work? And I keep shoving... It's like when you put a fucking key in the lock, and it's not even the right key, and you're like, hmm, why isn't the key working? It's, oh, maybe because it doesn't fucking work. Brain damage. Multiple bouts of brain damage. That's why I wasn't fucking working. It's because I wasn't using the right thing. Oh, I'm gonna fucking kick myself. I wonder if you guys have been telling me, like, in the comments, being like, fucking, dude, you're using the wrong object. There, of course it's not going to smelt any alloy. It's not an alloy smelter. It's a simple furnace. Why the fuck did I make it then? <laughs> God damn. I'm stupid. Give me the give me the award for the stupidest person on the fucking planet at this fucking point. <laughs> well, good thing I just right about have the stuff to make it. If I didn't, I was going to claw my fucking head off. I'm going to be like, I hate everyone. Okay. Simple alloy smeltery. Alloys and enemies. Fucking... I hate myself sometimes, man. I hate myself. <laughs> I'm that dumb. I'm like, hmm, why doesn't this work? Oh, wait, it's not going to work, you fucking troglodyte. Oh, boy, okay. There we go. It looks something different now. So if I take this, this... And a piece of silicon. There we go. You plop back in there. Yes, it's finally working! Finally! God damn, I need, I need to be taken back to fucking first grade and check my own reading comprehension, because I don't read. I don't read, I just expect it to work. And guess what? It doesn't, because I'm dumb. Fucking hell, I'm just gonna keep kicking myself for the rest the rest of the day for doing something this goddamn dumb. I mean they look <laughs> they don't they look kinda similar. I mean it's like three holes to two holes. I just I didn't think about that. I just didn't. It did not cross my fucking mind. Okay, so now I know that I can indeed make this without making the higher one. So thank god I almost wasted my time. Good shit. Good shit, good shit, good shit. Okay. Oh, boy. I hate everything. Alright, a soul machine chassis requires a soul attuned thing, which requires quartz dust, organic brown dye, soul powder. Soul powder is made by 
pulverizing solarium. Solarium is found by taking soul sand and gold. I do have some soul sand because I was using it to make shit. God damn. I am... I need to get my fucking head checked. <laughs> because the amount of times I just don't read and decide like, oh, this is fine. Is like, it's, it's frightening. It's frightening, I tell you. Like, I should not be this dumb. <laughs> I'm in master's school. It's like, I should not be this literally fucking stupid. But guess what? <laughs> that doesn't stop me. You can't stop me from being fucking brain dead most of the time. Because I am. Please don't burn down the house. That'd be very sad. I'm just using it to get around. Okay, I need more gold. And there we go. Okay. It's finally... It's finally something. Finally. <laughs> I need... I need my head checked. I have got... So much fucking reading... <laughs> comprehension problems. <laughs> that it leads me to just... You know... I don't know what I'm doing half the time. What? It seems like it needs a different soul chassis for one of them. Hmm. Okay, so we need... Soul is tuned. Die blend. I'm scratching my leg. So we need nether quartz. Soul powder, which we shall have soon. Organic black dye. That's what required the egg. I guess we can use a slime ball as well, but an egg would work better. Oh, whatever. Let's keep trying. <laughs> My brain is already down the fucking... Down the shitter. I should probably stop thinking I'm smart. And start knowing I'm not. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> Organic brown dye requires... Brown dye, cocoa beans... Twigs? Can I make twigs? I don't have shrub. Fuck, I might not be able to make it because I don't have any cocoa beans. I haven't found a jungle in my adventures, so it's like... That's not good. How do I make brown dye, then? How do I dye? Mm, let me look through all the ideas they have for me. Twigs and prunings. It's going to require an egg. Let's see, cocoa beans, brown pigment, fertilizer. I'm going to make brown pigment. Brown wool? Let me just search up ways of making brown things. Brown. I'm a, I'm a brown kind of man. Let me see. Or organic brown dye. Fertilizer? How do I make fertilizer? Sewage. I need sewage. Damn. Okay. Brown pigment. Fertilizer. Artificial brown dye. Brown pigment requires a pulverizer and some brown wool. I don't see any brown sheep nowhere. So, if we find a brown sheep, I know what I'm doing, but, uh... Artificial brown dye requires dye mixer. Fuck. So either find myself a, uh, a what is it? A fucking jungle biome or find myself some brown sheep, which is a little bit less rare than a jungle biome. I'll tell you that. Oh, boy. As you can see, the dumber you are, the dumber you are. White sheep. Cow. Horse, brown stuff, brown stuff. Oh, another Coach Z. There shall never be another. Our Coach Z, the one who died, is the only one we shall ever have. For we must honor his memory for forever. A lot of cows. No sheep, though. So many cows. Like an insane amount. Why the fuck have cows repopulated this entire area? Like, I like it. At the same time, like, they they are... I need wool. One thing is we should probably kidnap some sheep soon. We gotta recreate the sheep pen. Or the sheep hole. Fuck. Okay. Uh, there's some sheep. White sheep. Not what I need. I need to, I need to find a very rare brown sheep. A little bit tough to find that. Especially knowing that, like, I killed a lot of the sheep that existed in this area beforehand due to having to fix that glitch at the very beginning of the series. So it's like, hmm. Maybe hard to do that. Let's see. I mean, black sheep. 
relatively easy. Is there a way to make brown wool other than... Hmm. Precision sawmill. <laughs> if I found a brown bed, which are more rare than a brown sheep. Goddamn. Brown, brown, brown. One of the hardest colors to make in Minecraft. Due to requiring cocoa beans. Which requires a biome that is very rare. <laughs> So top rare upon rare upon rare, and you got yourself a fucking British game studio that hates you. <laughs> so have fun. <laughs> have fun, I say. Oh, boy. Now, finding this brown sheep's probably going to be a little bit tougher than I think. Can I just take some dirt? Dirt is brown. Can I turn that into a dye? Why don't you die? <laughs> hmm. The shrub had a way of turning itself into a kind of twig, but how do I, how do I open up a shrub? I didn't think about that. Hmm. I want to see what, because I can technically use it using twigs and prunings. How do I make twigs and prunings? We need a shrub in a sag mill. I can also take grass. How do you pick up grass? How do you make a shrub? How do you make grass? How do you make anything? How do you make grass? Do you need, like, silk touch? Silk touch grass? Maybe... Oh, did it. Okay, that works. I was thinking, like, hmm. Something like that? Yeah, I can get some ferns and shit. This might be a better idea. Pick up a ton of ferns. I think... I have our solution, everybody. I didn't think about that, but I was like, how am I going to pick up those? But it's like, oh, this can pick up those. So we can, in fact, make some brown dye by using ferns. This works. Okay. I think I've got my strategy now, but we are at the end of the episode anyway. So we're going to have to end it here. So next time on Marshy's Bent End Survival. Hopefully we will have gathered all the stuff needed to make a powered spawner and start making that wither skeleton, you know, uh, grinder that I've been wanting to make for quite some time. And before I end this episode, I want to thank all of my YouTube members, including the Disciples of Epsilon, Trey Lafari, Gray, Phoenix, Shell Bagan and Hummus, Darcy Lanfranco, Freddy, and Yuki. Without you all, this channel wouldn't stay afloat. So thank you for all your support, and I'll see you guys next time!